Yeah, A Miracle is Groundation's eighth studio album. It's our best album. Um, I feel like we've really uh, reached new ground and uh, we've developed our concepts that we've had from the very beginning, showing all the musicians' strengths. Marcus Urani, Ryan Newman, David Saturay, Jason Robinson, Takanua, we've all played together for many, many years now. And it shows on A Miracle. You know, um, we're learning uh, how to reach new spaces. And I feel like this album's focus with the female, uh, about the Empress, is a huge different world for us. Having lead female featured vocals, the singers Kim and Sharita, the, the girls with Groundation, they're also singing lead. So a lot of female energy on this miracle. It's about the miracle of life, the miracle of music, you know, the creation of all of this, all of this great beauty that we see. Um, yeah, I'm very proud of a miracle. We also have Judy Mowat and Marcia Griffiths on the album from Bob Marley's I3s. Those are the featurings that we have, and uh, we're very proud of that. And looking forward to everybody finally hearing a miracle. Yeah, A Miracle was one of the first songs I think we had for, for the, the album. So a lot of it was, was born from that song. Um, and uh, the concept of a miracle, like woman's creation of life, uh, groundation and the creation of music, these are all miracles. And I feel like the album is also talking about another type of miracle, a miracle that we need to manifest. You know, we as humanity are in a real tight spot and uh, we need to uh, find a new path to see a good positive future. So that's our miracle. That's our miracle for today that we're trying to manifest. And Groundation's doing our part in the music. So a miracle, the album, it really is a statement of today, 2014, and where we are. And the women's great power of inspiration. You know, uh, a lot of times people hear of, you know, Gandhi and Nelson Mandela and these great leaders, Martin Luther King. But a lot of great male leaders have a powerful empress, female, who really inspires that 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 side. And yeah, life life comes from the female. So I feel that um, there is a, a great lesson to be learned. And for the male, the, the female is what really puts us in balance. And and. Uh, that's a very powerful force. And I feel because of that theme and that type of focus for the album, the album feels much more positive. You know, there's a, there's a real upfulness in all the songs and all the music. And the female really has that spirit of hope, you know, of future is the female. And, and rhythm, rhythm hold them is, a, is, is all about that, you know? That, that in our hopes as Groundation, the music captures the people and, and it begins to speak to them on these levels. Uh, where, yeah, it's all about trying to get in balance. And that feminine side is crucial in, in, in mankind's search for that. So it's about, rhythm hold them is about the male giving up, you know, that selfish thing and giving it towards this feminine creation of life and family and, and future. So I, I think that that's what Rhythm Hold Them really is. Um, you definitely have your decision to make in life and, and these things, but I feel the fullness of, of the male energies can only come really into fruition with that female balance. <laughs> Merci, merci. Ouais. Et 
equal rights and justice. Yeah? Yeah. Any apologies? This song is called Free Rider. It's about all those dictators and leaders of the world who abuse the people and want to keep power for their whole life and never want to pass it on to the next generation. We don't want any more free riders in this thing, yeah? Yeah, yeah right? Yeah, we all, we all have the ego and it depends on how much it rules our life. But uh, born again is like a real confrontation of the soul, you know? And uh, it's a beautiful song and a passionate song and there's these kind of three different sections, these different movements, which all give way to this Nyabingi release, you know? You're gonna be born again, yeah, great karma loser. And uh, yeah, it's really, um, it's a, it's a fullness, you know, it's a song that's really talking about the fullness of life and how at any point um, you can be born again. You can free yourself of all these chains, you know. It might be the end of your life where you find the spirit, but you have to liberate yourself and, and, and live according to your heart in a positive way to be born again. Yeah, like Harrison said, you know, we, uh, we've been doing it for some years now, so our, our process is getting more refined each time. Um, this, time uh, this time went very smoothly, you know, we, uh, we wrote the songs, we spent some time together, and the songs came together really, really nice from the beginning. Some of those grooves sat, sat right away, said, okay, yeah, that's going to be good, you know. And uh, it's great when that happens, you know, it's, uh, uh, our, our writing sometimes goes very, very quickly, and sometimes we take, take time and work it out and work it out. Uh, this time there was, there was a little bit of both, but uh, when we came with the band, we really, really felt that power right away. So uh, for me, uh, you know, I like to really focus on the arrangements and uh, uh, really get into different sonic spaces and different things we can do. We tried to find some new sounds and, and different percussion instruments and different timbres and uh, uh, different things we haven't done in the past with, with the arrangements. And uh, that really came out well, it really came out well. It was great to have, uh, we did it in my house, in the studio in my house. And normally we go to the big studio with Jim Fox and we use all analog, so it was a little different for us this time and it was a lot of work to engineer and perform at the same time. But uh, that also gave us freedom to, uh, to explore a little bit more and, and, and do, do, some, do some different things, which was, uh, which was great, it was great. And you hear it on the album, yeah, you hear uh, you know, that one time, one little thing will happen, or, you know, there's this big uh, gong in the background or something, and, uh, you know, and so uh, it was great to have that ability to change the palette like that and, and add to the sound of the foundation. Uh, um, the horns uh, were a little more involved this time. We got them in early, and we got to ask them, like, hey, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? So they, they got to put in their input. And uh, the band, the whole band as a general got to say, hey, no, maybe not this, why don't we try that? Which, which was great and helpful and it pushed the music along because everybody has such a rich history and musical knowledge. Each one in, in our band has, has spent so much time with their own instrument and listening to music that uh, I think we benefited this time from opening it up a little bit more and letting, every, <laughs> letting everybody uh, have a say in the music and, and about the arrangements and things they liked and they didn't like. And it put, that also pushed the music in different directions. So it was, it was really nice, good experience.
Marcus Zanani, Marcus.